this is good. Let's talk about money, shall we? Money, 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 money. Let's talk about money. I love this topic. First of all, you know that. But second of all, I also love to talk about billions of dollars and trigger the whole fucking internet. The internet, the internet's butthole tightens when you mention the word billionaire. <laughs> and I want to unpack that. <laughs> It's like insane what goes through people. People implode when you talk about billionaires. It's hilarious. And what people don't realize is billionaires are normal fucking people and they're letting the media get to them with their relationship to money. They are painting having lots of money to be so fucking bad. And of course, there are some billionaires that are probably bad people. I mean, there are billionaires out there who are not doing good things with money. And the media is a reflection of the matrix. The matrix being what DX would call the dark law. Okay. So yes, there is, there is not nice energies out there. And the media is so smart because it will feature people who are bad people who have lots of money doing really bad things, really bad things, right? ruining the environment, taking advantage of people. I mean, yes, that's fucking true. There are people like that. Let's make that clear. There are people like that, but you guys have no idea. I mean, you, I'm not talking about you. Okay. I'm talking about in general, people don't know. There are so many more billionaires than the ones that are being featured in the media. First of all, they are normal fucking people. I know a couple billionaires and they're the most normal people. You would never look at them and think, oh yeah, that's a billionaire. Look at them. They just think they're so fucking, uh, 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 right? Normal people, just like you and I, they just have a ton of money. Okay. No, they didn't steal that money. No, they didn't take advantage of people for that money. Like they manifested it in alignment and in integrity with the highest good of all involved. Okay. Because they provided a resource, a value of some sort to the planet, to the people, to humanity that generated them that money. And that's fucking okay. All right. If you make a product that literally changes people's lives and a billion people bought it for a dollar, are you now a bad person? No. Right. So let me backtrack for a second. Let me backtrack for a second. Let's talk about this topic. I have also heard you say money is an unlimited resource, but how? I don't really get it because I don't see how all the people who wants to be could be as rich as they want to with the money that is around. Would the banks make more money? Is that what you mean? But then wouldn't the economic system collapse? (laughs) I love this question because this is so my husband. I've heard this shit from him a thousand times. I'm like, Brennan, (laughs) you cannot look at money from the 3D perspective to see its spiritual root. So when we talk about money, we're talking about its spiritual root. And from the spiritual root, as above, so below, as below, so above, right? The spiritual root, the ethers, the energetic plane. That's where we're going when we're talking about money being an unlimited resource. If you go straight to the 3D, Of course, you're going to see money as limited because if you look at all the meanings and symbols and representations that humans have created to represent the spiritual root, of course, it's going to look limited because humans are not infinite, right? The material plane is not necessarily infinite. And so, of course, money in the 3D form is not infinite, but we're not talking about that. We're not, we can't access the 3D and create more in the spiritual. It's got to be the opposite. It's got to be like um, a top-down process, okay? If you look at it from the spiritual perspective, all is energy. We have shared so much of how everything is energy inside of module one, right? We are energy being read by the brain and translated into physical matter. Everything is just a bunch of wavelengths around us. It's just a bunch of vibrating particles. And it's our genius brains that's translating it into, oh, I have a computer in front of me. I'm speaking into a microphone. There's a chair in front of me. I'm sitting on a chair like, whoa, physical 3D reality is so cool. But 3D physical reality doesn't exist without the brain, okay? 
So consciousness, like scientists and people of all millennia have been trying to figure out where is consciousness and they will dissect the brain. They will weigh the the body before and after death, try to figure out where's the soul, where's the consciousness. And it's just, it's not contained, right? It's just free flowing. It's hard to explain because that's the thing. Unlimited money explained from the 3D perspective doesn't work. I understand that. So you have to chunk up. And if all is energy, if you're energy, I'm energy, everything's energy, then money is too. Energy is infinite. Energy is limitless. Energy is boundless. Just look at the universe. And you always hear scientists say the ener- the universe is always expanding. How the fuck is it possible that it's always and always and always expanding? We don't even know the edge of the universe. It's because it's infinite. It's infinite. And so is energy and so is money. Humans figured out a way to make the energy tangible. And that means there's so much more in the intangible that has yet to make its way into the tangible. So when I know that I am destined to be a billionaire in this lifetime, I know it because I know how to make the intangible tangible. And you have the same ability. Now, whether you want billions of dollars, that's a whole different story. We're talking about whatever it is that you desire. If you just desire making 100K a year, that's fucking amazing. And I'm here to show you how to take the intangible and make it tangible. That's manifestation, right? So you are the doula. You are the midwife. You are the OBGYN, okay, of bringing money into the portal of the 3D. And yes, Everyone can be as rich as they want. They truly can. Like, I'm I'm tired of this conversation. When people come at me like, that is not how the world works, Catherine. Exactly. We, exactly. That's not how the world works. So we need to create a new world, right? We cannot create a new world from operating from the way the world works. No. <laughs> like, what I'm talking about is creating from the infinite. My hands are like dancing a lot today. I love it. And I challenge everyone to reframe their relationships with billionaires ASAP because I see billions of dollars or billionaires or whatever, trillionaires, who cares? Like use whatever word that you want to use. I see it as how we perceive them or how we perceive that much money is our relationship with the infinite. It's our relationship with limitlessness. It's relationship with more than enough so much abundance, so much more than enough. And if that makes your butthole pucker, that is not on them. That is on you to figure out what are you projecting? What are your beliefs about money? What are your beliefs about X, Y, Z that is creating this response in your body? I have zero, like you could tell me you're a zillionaire and I'm like, that's lit. Great. I love that. (laughs) Like, that's cool. And it has nothing to do with more, like we don't have to read into it so much. And I think the world is just reading into it because they're being fed all this fucking bullshit. Okay. I see so much hate. I'm just kind of reading my notes here. I see so much hate towards the representation of money. And I can understand why, if we're just looking at how the media is representing them, plus who they are sharing, but that isn't the whole perspective. Billionaires are normal people just like you and I. They just figured out how to make billions tangible to them. That's it. That is it. Now, have some stolen, taken advantage, all blah, 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 blah. Yeah, of course. Okay. Like everything's available to us on this planet. We see light, we see dark, we see good, we see bad. Yes, all is possible. But do not limit yourself based on that. I want you to create genuinely what it is that you desire and the world that you want to live in. And that's that. And the more of us can band together on that, that is also bringing peace on earth. If we can bring abundance to all, that's peace on earth. 